Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Olajimo Ke. I would very much love for you to consider subscribing to my channel and becoming part of my family here on YouTube. Now today, ladies, I have five different traits that could be potentially gravely diminishing your sense of class and femininity. Now, if these things apply to you, it is not to cause offense, it is to help you become a better version of yourself. If you would like to know more about this, keep on watching. The first thing I wanted to talk about is too much skin on display. Ladies, there is nothing elegant or classy about that. Have you ever seen the Queen or members of the royal family in regalia that shows too much skin? Most likely not. Now they've been taught that the essence of being feminine and regal is modesty. I think for some reason we have completely thrown modesty out of the window. When you are out and about and you see a woman who is practically almost nude, what do you think? Be honest, what comes to mind? You're not thinking she's got so much taste and elegance and class. You're thinking something else entirely. It makes you seem desperate for attention and it draws the wrong attention to you. Men of high quality don't appreciate their partner's bodies being on display. It's very attractive to leave certain things to the imagination because they believe that's something very private and personal for their eyes only. The second point is your tone, loudness. Are you the person who is known as, oh yeah, the loud one? Or are you that woman who walks into a room and before people even turn around, they know it's you because you are loud? Ladies, there's nothing attractive about that. A character trait like that actually shows that you haven't quite mastered the art of confidence to express yourself in a very different way apart from being loud. And it just makes you seem like you are extremely hungry for attention. Men of high caliber like women who are regal in their way, who are very mature and understand how to express themselves without being so loud. So let's take it down a notch, or two, or hundred, as it may apply. Number three, the infamous Instagram pose. I am not sure who came up with that pose or who thought it was a brilliant idea, but that pose is not for elegant and classy ladies. It actually looks like you're about to do a number two. As classy women, you must be well put together in public. The way you sit, the way you walk, how you talk, that pose is something that belongs in the trash, and in 2020, we must get rid of it. The fourth pointer is mixing too many colors or too many designer wear at once. What I mean by that is, on your head you're wearing an Hermes scarf, on your body you're wearing Gucci, on your hand you're carrying a Chloe bag, your shoes are Fendi, it's all too much. Look back in history, the most classy and elegant women are simple. Simplicity actually adds to your sense of femininity and maturity. When you dress in a very simple but yet elegant and tasteful manner, it shows that you have a sense of confidence to understand that it's not the externalities or these external adornments that draws attention to you. It's the way you are presented as an individual and your personal brand. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being dressed in designer clothing, but just do it in a very tactful and tasteful manner. It's not attractive when you're dressed head to toe in different designer wear. It just shows that you lack a sense of style. Number five, and this is one that particularly gets me very irate, asking about money. I'm not talking about asking about financial issues or discussing financial issues with a person. I'm talking about how much does your dress cost? How much did you buy your house for? How much do you earn? How much was your car? How much did your wedding cost? It is so tactless. Classy ladies don't ask you what your net worth is. It's just one of those things that you tacitly understand should not be asked. It's private. If someone wishes to tell you what they're worth, how much their clothes cost, how much their house costs, 
Leave it to them to make that decision. Point number six, being aggressive in public towards other people. Fighting physically in public or using derogatory terms towards other people. This is absolutely unacceptable and it shows that you have zero class. I can't sugarcoat it. I'll give you an example. A friend of mine was in a public mall trying to park his car and there was a woman, I can't call her a lady, a woman who was trying to get into the same spot as him. Now he was fast enough to get into that spot having been patient and she came at him with curse words, being very aggressive, saying to him, what makes you special? Do you know who I am? The minute you say, do you know who I am? It means you are absolutely nobody. Because if you were somebody, you wouldn't have to introduce yourself. And you know, the sad thing about it was that people around him were apologetic on her behalf because they had witnessed everything that happened. So they said to him, so we're really sorry that you've had to experience that. But you know, most of these women are like animals in the jungle who have no training whatsoever. Do you want to be a woman who's referred to as an animal? I think not. I'll give you another example. I was traveling on a flight to Nigeria a few months ago. And when I walked down the stairs to exit the plane, a gentleman had tapped a lady on her shoulder. She turned around and she ripped him apart saying, I'm a married lady. How dare you touch me? I don't want you speaking to me. Who do you think you are? It's, un you know, it's unacceptable. And this was in front of everyone. She was extremely loud and extremely aggressive without even listening to what the man had to say. And he said to her, I just wanted to alert you to the fact that you dropped something. He turned around and he looked at me, he smiled and he said, God help her husband. And I thought for a while and I said, I acquiesce, I agree with you, God help her husband. Ladies, if you are aggressive in public, it shows that you are uncultured. It's inexcusable. Let us throw that attitude in the trash this year. It has no place in the life of a classy woman. So that's it, my darlings, from me for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely weekend ahead. Bye for now.